Alana here from teachtraffic.com and in today's video I am going to talk about the search keyword targeting basics that you need to know and really what I'm referring to here are the keyword match types that you can choose when running a Google search campaign. Okay, there's three main match types that you can choose. And in actual fact, there's a fourth one, which I'm going to cover at the end of the video, which is a really important one that will prevent your ad, um, prevent you from waste any wasted ad spend. So definitely stick around to the end. Okay, if you like this video, hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to my channel because I've got lots of awesome videos coming. Okay, so as promised, we're going to be talking all about the keyword targeting basics and the match types for your search campaign. Okay, and basically there's three main match types. There did used to be uh, a fourth for the targeting, but they took it away in September 21, which kind of sucks Google, but what can you do, right? So the three main types are exact match, phrase match, and broad match, okay? If you're just starting out, I'm going to suggest that you don't touch broad match because that is basically opening the door to a whole bunch of search terms that you're going to show up for that you probably don't want. So for most businesses and for most people that I help inside Teach Traffic, I select you choose the second one, which is phrase match. Okay, so it's probably easy to explain this if I dive into an account and I'll show you. Uh, so here we are in a, uh, a live Google ad account. Okay, and if you go to add new keywords to an existing campaign, when you when you put in your keywords, you're going to have to put in your keywords uh, in this particular area. So if I just cancel out of this real quick to add new keywords, we just go plus and it, and it brings it up here. Okay, this is obviously once you've created your campaign and everything's running, if you want to add keywords. Okay, so here you can see down here, these are the three main match types that I was talking about at the start of this video. Broad uh, means that for the keyword that has um, that you're targeting, it has no syntax around it. For phrase, you've got the inverted commas, and for exact match, you put square brackets around the keyword. Okay, so say for example, I want to uh, target the keyword um, Google retargeting. All right, if I don't put any syntax around that keyword, then I'm doing broad match. Don't want to do that. Okay, what we want to do is we want to do phrase match. So I add the inverted commas like this, and that tells Google that, hey Google, I want the term Google and retargeting to be somewhere in the search term. Okay, so if somebody types into Google how to re uh, do retargeting on Google, my ad will show here because retargeting and Google is present in the search term. If I did exact match, which is the square brackets. Okay. Theoretically, my ad should only show when somebody types in Google retargeting and only that. However, if you've been running Google ads for a while, you might know that a few other search terms slip through the cracks. And so exact match in sort of uh, in the industry is called exact ish match because it will show for sort of slight variations to that as well. OK, so just know that exact match is not really exact, exact match. OK, so my favorite is the phrase match. So I do it like that. OK, and then you just click uh, save to to add that keyword. OK, these are keywords that I've already got here in this particular account. And as you can see here, the match type is phrase because I've got the inverted commas and I could easily change these to be these. And these are th um, the three that I've mentioned. OK. The fourth one that I was talking about um, and I meant and I alluded to is a negative keyword. OK, and that will prevent my ad to be shown for that particular keyword match type. OK, so negative keywords uh, mean um, if somebody types in the word free here, uh, then I don't want my ad to show at all. OK, so to add a negative keyword, you've got to go to your negative keyword section and hit plus and then add in the keywords here. Now you can add negative exact match with the square brackets or just broad match. Can't do phrase. Uh, and so you add negative keywords in that way. You might be wondering why I've got this with below first page bid. The thing is, Google's just trying to get me to bid more. And as you can see here, I'm actually getting impressions, uh, not great clicks. I could get a whole lot more impressions if I bid what they want me to bid, but I'm just 
you know, running this as a test campaign uh, and to illustrate that you don't actually, uh, if, the, if the keyword has enough traffic anyway that people are navigating to page two or whatever, then you don't actually have to bid what um, they necessarily say. Okay, so there you have it. There are our keyword targeting basics for a search campaign. Uh, let me know how you go in the comments below. And if you like this video, then uh, hit that like button and definitely subscribe to my channel. Cheers.